Hi guys, so today I thought I would be doing my go-to fall lipstick colors. And I have quite a few lipstick colors. I have 11 colors right now. So, yeah, these are the ones that I gravitate to towards the most. So, seeing that fall is almost literally around the corner, so why not just film this now? So, I hope you guys enjoy. And let's get started. So, the first lipstick that I'm going to be talking about is my Maybelline... Uh, lipstick in Deepest Cherry or 420 and this is what it looks like and it's such a pretty color I was in Ulta looking at this color and I was like Wha what? and I will be doing basically lip swatches right over here on my next next to me so you might see me doing funny faces with the lipsticks on so this lipstick right here, and this is what it looks like right now, and that's what it's going to look like on me. It's such a nice color. Like, I swatched this, and I was like, this is going to be the perfect lipstick for fall. It's so beautiful. It has, it's reddish, it has red undertones, but a slight plummy to it. It has more reddish than anything, but it's so beautiful. Like it said, it's the deepest cherry, so... Such a nice color. So that's my first uh, lipstick. It's this. The second one is also going to be a Maybelline color, and it's 435 or Plum Perfect. Now I also got this from Ulta, and that's what it looks like here. Now this one, now this one's like right under here. So that's what it looks right there. And that one is like the baby sister to deepest cherry and it's more reddish than anything like a more like a, a, a darker pink whereas this one has more uh, dark plumish than this one is if that makes any sense it's more like a berry if anything so that's what it looks like that's what it looks like on me and next one I think this is like the Maybelline lipstick <laughs> tag, but the next one is a bit of berry. It's uh, 175. This one is. So I like to pour, pair this with my Naked lip gloss, and I believe I have it in Beso. And it's such a pretty color combination. I'll combine that with the Beso, and it gives off like. It comes off bright pink right now, but with the uh, with the, the naked with the naked lip gloss over, it's more berry. It comes off berrier than this, so I like that those two pairings because it, it's such a beautiful color. So you can tone it down with the naked lip gloss. Next one is you guessed it, another Maybelline lipstick, and this one is an Espresso Exposed. This. Is the beautifulest brownish lipstick ever. Like, and a brown lip brown lipstick right now is really hot, and it's so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. If you really want to, like, one day just go really dark, and you don't really want to spend that much, I would go with uh, the Maybelline Nude uh, collection that they have, the Maybelline Lipstick Nude. And that's where I got it from. And this Espresso Exposed is such a beautiful, deep color to go to if you want to, you know, spice up your look a bit. This one I would totally recommend. Maybelline, well, the last and final Maybelline product, yes, is these, these, this Maybelline Elixir in Caviar Couture. I saw this in a magazine. I was like, yeah, I need to get that, like, as soon as possible. Went to my nearest Target and picked this sucker up. And that's what this one looks like. Disregard these lip swatches. I was trying to find something. But this one, it has little sparkles in it, which I didn't get when I was looking at it because you don't really see sparkles in it. Like, do you see that? Do you see sparkles? Like, I didn't see it. And then when you swatch it, that's when I'm like, wait, what? But it's. It's subtle, 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 subtle. It's 
little hints of sparkles. So it's not like zaza zing sparkles, but you know, you get the gist. Such a beautiful color. Like I think it would be good on its own, but pairing it with something else would be like magnificent. Next one I have is a Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain and Parisian Passion. It's these ones right here. That's what this looks like. And swatched. I'm having I've heard like a lot of mixed reviews on these, so I don't I don't, I don't know why, but this is how it swatches right now. And it's a berry color. Like that's that's as blast it's gonna get. It's such a beautiful berry color. I like it. If I don't want to go like too dark, I'll wear this just for like a a bit of a a, a fallish look. If you know what I mean? That's why it's so glossy. The next are uh, well is from Bite, and this one is called Bramble, and I love these pencils. Like sweet baby Jesus. Oh wow! I just found a dupe. I think you consider that dupe. Like, this is Bramble, and this is Revlon Moisture and Parisian Passion, so it's just that it's glossy, but BAM! I like this color. Like, I like all Bite lip uh, products, so, I mean, this is like my favorite. Like, the pencils, the lip pencils, I guess you could call them, are my favorites. Like, granted, the lipsticks are good. But I feel like these, the pencils stay longer than the lipsticks do, if you know what I mean. Granted, they are creamy, but these stay longer, in my personal point of view. That's what I like to gravitate towards, so I love these. This is another color I like to do. I have a NARS lip gloss. I think it broke, like something happened. I don't know. But it came in 60s fan. And I'm going to put a line this way. I don't want to go all up on my arm. Now, I would like to pair that with one of my uh, lipsticks. This is like a nice color if you don't want to like wear lipstick and you just want that little bit of gloss. Then I'll go with this. 60s Fans from Nas. So the next color I have are two Urban Decay lipsticks. And this one is called Venom. This, this color is so beautiful. Like God set this color down. I was like, Mercedes, you need to have this. And I was like, yes, thank you. This color was like my first dark color. My best friend loves dark colors. And she was like, you know what? You need a dark lipstick in your life. And I was like, I think I do too. And this was like my first. And, mind you, like, this was, like, my first pop of color or anything, but right now, it's coming off like that. And it's such a beautiful color. Oh, my God. But this is what it is. It's, like, it's a true berry color. This is what it is. Now, I like to sometimes pair it with the Urban Decay pencil in Venom as well. And it comes off darker when I put this on. So, although it comes off like this, if I pair it with the lip pencil... It comes off a little bit more darker than what it's coming off on my hand right now. But yeah, these two together. This one alone. But I feel like it stays longer with the lip pencil than me just putting it on with the lipstick. But, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice color. It's a very Next and final color is Shame. This is the darkest color I think I have. Yes, I think, I believe I am right. This color I wore on Black Friday at my job. And I put everyone to shame. 
It is the deepest cherry color you can put on. Like if you layer it on, it looks maybe a little bit black, but this is such a beautiful color. Oh my god. I wasn't like flicking you guys off, but this color is so beautiful. Ooh, if you want to be like Zaza Zing, I'm going all full out. Just want a pop of like a statement lip, just nice little eyeliner flick. This is the color you need to do. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful color. I love it. I just had to go out with a bang, and this was the bang. So guys, that was my fall go-to lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and comment below. And subscribe if you did. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on my next video. Bye.